This painting started off with a loose watercolour background. If you're not quite sure on the layout of a scene, a loose watercolour background is a great way to see how you can interpret areas of light and dark into the scene. I had a vague idea in mind of a scene looking through some trees, so I kept the darker areas around the outside and I used some green to kind of pick out where I might like some trees. For the distant trees, I initially did these in watercolour, but layered over them in a pale blue to give them a bolder silhouette. Even though I didn't do a lot of planning for this piece, I still worked from the back to the foreground. This meant that once I'd got my trees established in the distance, I needed to put the reflections in the water so that they would be behind any of the layers that I put in front. I added this small spit of land in the middle of the painting to kind of split the painting up between background and foreground. This gave me somewhere else to add interesting plant shapes. And once I'd painted that, I added the reflection of it in the water underneath. For the trees that I'd blocked in with green watercolour, I went ahead and started with a dark green for this and picked out the edge shapes with a round brush. I used a lighter green to pick out some of the individual leaves and add a little bit of dimension to these trees. Everything in this scene is oriented towards the light down the centre. So these highlights are mainly focused down the middle where the light would reach. For the foreground trees I used a dark blue to add the silhouettes of the trees. I made sure these covered the edges that were unfinished in the layers behind. And I used this same colour to paint the foreground plant shapes. This dark blue provides the frame for the scene so I wanted these to be quite bold and elaborate. These are much more detailed plant shapes than than you can see on the spit of land that we did in the center of the painting. And the dark blue gives a really nice contrast from the scene behind. Once I'd finished establishing this frame, I went ahead with a darker blue and just darkened the very outer edges. We can add a little dimension to these really dark shapes with a lighter blue and we can use this to pick out some of the edges that you can see on the trunks and maybe the shape of the tree roots. I usually pick these out with a line and when I'm happy, I go back and blend this line out to nothing. You get like a really subtle indication of shape. I really like the simple colour scheme for this with the green and the blues, but I wanted to bring more of the green into the foreground layer. So I used a similar green to add an indication of some moss on the tree trunk and on the tree roots. Finally I went ahead and deepened up the waterline along the spit in the centre. 
and corrected any of the reflections for that and I added a few white highlight details to the water and that was it <laughs>